Hello everyone. It has been a long time since I've made a video. So I just want to kind of introduce myself again. My name is Barbara. I have been using planners since I was very, very young. It started with using like the assignment books that we would get for homework. And my mom would buy me those and I would decorate them with stickers and pens and it just progressed from there. So then when I was a teenager, I was using like the day timers, the ones that, you know, you would buy in Walmart back in the day and things like that. Now, over the years, it has progressed into me having a huge collection of planners in different sizes, using different inserts, downloading inserts, making my own inserts, moving into bound books. So I have quite a few different sizes in different books and different planners that I use. Pocket ring planners have always been my favorite. Now, I have recently purchased quite a few, um, but I will break everything up into different videos. So this one just came yesterday. This one came a couple of days ago. This is my metallic purple Safiano. So I just decided right before I started this video that the one I'm going to set up is my Moterm Luxe in cream. Now, my everyday carry is my pocket Gilio in the rust. It's a Campania. So this one here just comes with me in my purse all the time. And I had so many doctor's appointments this week that this came in handy, just having it in my purse to take down notes, to schedule new appointments and things like that. So with this one, it just, I won't flip through because there's a lot of personal notes from the doctor. So until I actually get all that out, I won't flip through it, but I absolutely love this. This goes in my purse every single day. So with this one here, this is the Pocket Lux Moterm in Cream. So this one I just got off of Mercari. It came yesterday. It had the gold rings. Now, anything that is brown or beige, I love a gold ring, not a silver. That is my personal preference. So with this one here, when she sent it, she included the 30 millimeter silver rings because you get the 30 millimeter rings with the Lux. But then I had the 30 millimeter rings in gold in a different planner. So I took those out and just swapped them out. Um, she did include the 30 millimeter silver, but the ones she had in here were the gold, but it was like a 19 millimeter. So that's too small for me in a luxe planner. So I did take that out. Now she included this. This is the fly leaf in here. And then there is, so that matches that perfectly. Now this color is a little bit off, but it's the zip one so that you can use it as a wallet and put like some cash or change or stickers, whatever you want in here. I'm going to hold off on this part for just a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you as quickly as I can. Um, it's not going to be perfect because I want to keep this video fairly short. So I also have the note paper. Now, because pocket planners have always been my favorite, I have many different things in pocket size. So what I did do was I have like three buckets that look like this in my closet. I'm trying not to hit the phone, so I'm sorry. Um, just in the closet with all different pocket size inserts. So I chose this one just to grab to pull some stuff out of it. Um, so that I can just quickly set this up because I don't have anything ready to go and I'm in a mood to set something up today. So I'm just going to pop open the rings. I have the terrible habit of just popping them open by the rings themselves. So I'm trying to work on that. So I'm just going to stick this here at the beginning. Now, as far as dividers, um, this one doesn't have all my dividers in it. So what I might do is just pick a piece of paper, pull out my laminator. I won't do all that on camera. Just one thing about my videos, you're not going to see the fancy editing and the speeding up of the video. That's just not me. I don't have time to do all that. I don't know how to do all that. And yes, I will admit that. So actually, all right, these dividers will work for now until I can figure something out. So what we'll do is this, we will put 
just the first one in here. So this was cardstock that I had laminated, rounded off the corners. Um, I love paper crafting, so I have tons of tools. So I've got lots of little things. Um, I will probably include this somewhere in here, one of these. I have a couple. I'm trying to see if I have one that, okay. So this one is perfect. It already has the little holes popped out. So that I'll just stick some stickers in in the back or like washi samples. And then I just have so many different calendars, different things. Um, I'm just trying to see what paper I want to put in here. All right, so I'm just going to start grabbing paper from my little insert book. So this we can just use as scrap paper back there. Um, I do have my paper punch right there. I'm just trying to see what I have that's already punched out that is not an actual insert. So usually in my pocket planners, I put everything in here except for actual inserts like uh, File Effects Weekly. When I say actual inserts, I kind of just put a lot of note paper because I love note paper on the go. So I'm just putting in just some random pieces that have been cut already. We have here, I actually like this paper. So this is just some lined paper in different colors. There's a blue, like two blue sheets, some like yellow and then pink. All right, so that is a lot of note paper back there. This is the Lux, so it can fit a lot in this planner. So I'm just going to put another divider back there. Sticky notes. I am obsessed with sticky notes. These are old, so these can come off and just go into the trash. So. This one here I do like as well. Just having just little positive reminders. Now, another thing that I really like to use in my pocket planners is index cards. So I have lots of index cards. Um, I have some that are lined. I have some that are um, dot grid, of course, in this bucket. I didn't really grab the best bucket to do this. Um, that's fine. I have stuff everywhere, so it's all good. I do have like the Motarm lined paper, so I'll just stick a bunch of that in here. And then we'll do another thing here. So we've got some dot grid and I'm not getting fancy with inserts to put in here because again, I have so many with inserts. So actually I just found some Avery tabs. I've been looking for some. Okay. So these right here are heavyweight ruled index cards. I do love to use these. And in my other bucket, I have my colorful ones. Like I have pastels, um, really cute, fun ones. So when I put index cards in here, it's just like if I'm meal planning and want to grocery shop around the meal plan. So I'll just punch a couple at a time. I have my PU462 that I have had forever. So with this one, I like it because you can do pocket, A6, personal, and A5. You can do them all. So I'm just going to punch these really quickly. A lot of the time I tend to put too much in there at once and then I have to punch it a few times. So this is also great for like grocery lists. So what I do on one side with the meal planning is I'll put down the meals that I want to make for the week and then on the back I do the grocery list to correspond with it. I'll add stickers to it, um, washi, you know, just to make it colorful and fun. But knowing that I'm going to throw it away, I try not to use like the good stuff on it, like the good washi and see like this one I put too much. So now it's stuck in the paper punch, but that's okay. 
we get the gist. So I'll deal with that after. Um, but then I have like some craft paper notes. So sometimes I'll put those in there. Oh, I knew I was going to hit this at least once. I'm sorry. Okay, so we've got that. This one doesn't really have a lot of my deco. So that's a bummer. Um, pink dot grid paper. Very faint dot grid, so maybe I'll skip that. Um, but yeah, this doesn't have a lot of my like pocket decor stuff. Actually, I do have a lot more dividers, so I can keep going here. And the pocket lux, you can stuff a lot in here. So some of my pockets, like this one, if I put smaller rings, could be more of like a pocket wide. So that's why I have some inserts that are bigger. But... I'm not really finding anything else in here that I really want to use. Okay, actually, I found something that might work. But this is what I pretty much do when I'm setting up a planner. Um, I will just open these buckets and I will just find stuff and just stick it in here. And then these are like inbox trackers. So I know I said I wanted to do this quick, but we're already at almost 12 minutes, but it's fun. So, I mean, I could do some weekly inserts in here if I wanted to. And then I do, what I do is I just redate them. So I'll stick this here. I'll put that here. And then I have one more little section that I can do. I can put another one of these here to put in some more stickers or washi because if I'm on the go, I like to have some stuff there. So I'll probably stop there as far as like decor, I mean like inserts because this is not really the one that um, I would want to use for this stuff. So. I can pull out another bucket another day and have more fun with that. But that's just kind of how I would grab stuff and just fill it up and start writing and start using things. So I'm just going to close the rings. And then all of my pictures are in my other planners. So let's see if I can just quickly find something that I can use in there. Not in this one. Not in here. Journaling cards. I do have a ton of journaling cards around. So where I'm sitting right now is my planner desk. It's also my work desk. But like I would just stick something in here that matches, you know, like pink. Something along those themes, but... Again, there's really not much in this bucket Ooh. that I can use. Oh, here's a cloth and paper card. So this one just kind of says like, acknowledging the good you already have in your life. So maybe I can put that as like a thing here. But that's just my fountain pen inks. And then I do have a lot of binder clips. I incorporate a lot of binder clips into my planner. So when I find a picture that I can use in here, I'll go ahead and put this on the other side and then I'll move the family picture or whatever, like of my son to this side. And then I would do the same thing here or try to find like a pretty sticker to kind of put in there. I have a lot of floral stickers. So we can stick with like that theme, you know, kind of something like this with like florals coming out. I want to be able to see the pink. We 
with God, all things are possible. So kind of just like have that sticking out, you know, just something along those lines. Um, and then as I start to work with the planner, that is when I would change sections up. I would, you know, fill it up with different things. I would have my pens. I have a million and one pens. So I will never leave something that is a retractable pen, especially in this color planner. So what I normally would do, I like to have a highlighter with me. So I would just put like this one in here. And then I'm just trying to find a pen that I would trust to be in here. One that will fit. So this is like a multicolor Dr. Grip fine point pen. Okay, and it does fit. So that's just like kind of how I would start this off with being set up and then just switch stuff around. I don't really tend to put a lot of tabs in here, but that is pretty much like how I would begin this. And then again, just kind of customize it to my needs as I'm using it. So I will just use this as my intro video back to my channel and I will start to do more videos. Um, I'll try to keep them shorter and I'll try to have my stuff ready next time so that I have the right bin because to go and get it, it's going to be a problem. So, all right, well, this was fun and I will chat with you guys soon. Thank you for watching.